reading my own book called Oh, uh, We Are Doomed. All right. Whoosh. The bushes fly by as if a windstorm had came through, but weirdly, the trees seem like they were set in stone and couldn't move. Two newly graduated students, Davy and Jane, are celebrating their high school graduation with a camping trip to New York's northern forest, close to Mount Marcy. They got the idea off one of their friends, Raymond, that moved to Vermont after graduation. No one knows why he moved, but his family were, were very spiritual. Hey, Davy, you coming? said Jane. Yeah, Jane. Hey, have you seen my scissors? No, said Jane. Dang. All right. Must have left them in the truck. I'll just use my knife. Hey, don't be out there too long. There's monsters out, she said, said Jane. I'm not a kid, Jane. That stuff isn't scary anymore, said Dave, er, Davey. Anyway, anyway, Jane, let's go to bed. All right, said Jane. They wake up at 12.55. Hey, Jane, wake up. The sky was as gray as a newspaper. Davy pinches himself to see if it's real. The world looks sadder than a lost puppy. What, says Jane. Look, outside, Davy said. What's happening, Jane exclaimed. I don't know, I'll go check it out, Davy said. They both walk out in black everywhere. Pow! No! Davy! Help! Jane wakes up and sees Davy on the floor, dead and very mutilated. They were trapped in a hopeless, both with stab wounds. Looked like they were scissor wounds. Then Jane passes out from blood loss. She wakes up to being dragged across the forest floor, alive but as dead as a leaf in autumn, and is mentally broken, like a th as a one thousand year old ghost. Someone, dra someone dra was dragging her, but with her eyes clouded red with blood. Then she feels a cloth on her face. So she tries to grab the person's hand, and her hand goes straight through, or her hand goes straight to her thigh. So she uses the last of her strength to open her new, her now blood-crusted eyelids, and saw Davy along with their friend Raymond. She almost passed out from shock, but, but. Davy, you died. I saw your body, and, and, I'm sorry. Davy! Raymond held his finger to his mouth in a shushing motion. It's the weepers from hell. If you get caught, they will take your soul straight to hell and torture you for eternity. <laughs> Crap! He heard us! Run! They run for five minutes till snap, she trips. It grabs her, but miraculously, she scrambles from the raw and sore hands of the demon. She only got out with a scratch. So they run into, they run and try to find a car or civilization. Hours later, after looking, Jane starts to become sick probably from the cold. Then they find they find it, a town. So they walk over, but something happens. Jane falls over, so Davy and Raymond go to check on her. But then her body demonically contorts and her now dead hands grab and snap the necks of Davy and Raymond. Now she's no longer human. She's... <laughs>